Hey guys, welcome to game three between Rancor and Masuchi. Fourth set of Fighting Spirit Mania round two between these two players. Upper end corner, we have Masuchi starting as the green Zerg. Bottom left hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the purple Zerg. And thus far, Rancor having a lot of trouble versus Masuchi in this particular set. And Masuchi, again, I said it at the end of last match, it just seems like Masuchi is just... Rancor has been able to pick off games here and there, but Masuchi has just been a little bit ahead. Rancor has gone for... I have yet to see Rancor go, go for any sort of 12th pool variation, oddly enough. He went for a 12th hatch once at his natural expansion, but it seems like we might... As far as the build orders he typically has prepared, we might have seen the full gambit. And what I actually find interesting as far as ZVZ in particular... It really does, because of the variation in build orders early, I feel like there's more variation in... Maybe this isn't the case, but I feel like there's more variation in ZVZ as far as heads up. It's actually, now that I think about it... Looks like we're seeing a 9 pool from Masuchi, by the way. Are we going to see a 12 pool again against the 9 pool? The one time Masuchi went 9 pool, Rancor uh, going for an Overlord opener. Maybe he will get the build order advantage by putting a pool down here. We'll try to keep an eye on it. But it's interesting because I feel like Terran has a disadvantage because you have to play DV TVT, and TVT can just take an hour. ZVZ is pretty fast, but when you think about just the sheer mass of variation that has to happen, ZVZ. Ugh. Okay, so now Rancor going for an in-base 12th hatch once again, but against a 9 pool, he could end up... It, it works very similarly. You get a few additional seconds of defense, but it works very similarly comparative to a 12 hatchery except you have a little bit more of an interior base uh, to defend. So six Zerglings being produced. He's going for a spawning pool. Now, Masuchi knows that he doesn't need to go to the bottom right-hand corner because his Overlord's already shifted here and there wasn't an Overlord along the way. The Zerglings have a 50-50 shot, or sorry, a, yeah, 50-50 shot of going to the right spawn. Looks like Zergling speed is being upgraded. Spawning pool's about halfway finished. We'll see if they can march down the way the other question is, is, does Rancor save Larva to be able to defend? So it's going to be spawning pool finishing time plus Larva build time and that much of a delay with the drones. The Zerglings are headed the proper direction. And it looks like this could be a quick one. Another quick one. And this that's got to be frustrating for Rancor. So spawning pool finishes. There's only... There are enough Larva to get... To do fours two drones pulling off the line because they saw the zerglings coming trying to buy time doing a little bit of delay right there more zerglings being produced here but it's going to be a timing thing potentially one drone going to get killed but it looks like it might have held and just able to sneak that out the zerglings getting popped though as they spawn the drones not coming off the line to help defend now they're spawning alongside drones pulling out entirely for rancor to fight this back Rancor still up, but he's losing a lot of mining time in the midst of this. More Zerglings flooding across. But it looks like Rancor might have held. Zerglings and drones, but this is a considerable amount of lost mining time. And the drone count is just about even. The Zerglings continuing to flood in. Even, even count here. The dro another drone getting picked off. It is now even on drones overall. And Masuchi finally backing off. But Rancor calling GG right there. Just doesn't like the situation, didn't like the reduced mining time, and perhaps a bit flustered in these matches overall, which is understandable. So going to call GG, a little bit of an early one. Hopefully he can uh, regather himself. This is kind of the aspect of Fighting Spirit Mania, where it's, again, so many games, and it is really a, uh, I don't know, it's, yeah, it's an endurance challenge, emotional endurance challenge as well. Hope you guys enjoyed it, though. Thanks for listening.